This is it guys, the final three races of the season, the final three races of the series, no matter what, it's it. When this season ends, that's it. We're not doing a season four. We're going to literally bankrupt the team before we get to a season four. Uh, How is everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's having a good Friday and hopefully everyone enjoyed the duels last night. Uh, say a prayer for Kyle Busch. He got uh, turned head on into the outside wall. But that was very, very unfortunate. Let's do this. Who won the duels again? Logano and Almirola. Yes, Logano and Almirola won the duels. Uh, and let's get into it. All right. So, <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> so I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We have to win. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members, as always, who support the channel. You guys are the best. Make, make sure you guys enjoy your weekend. I will be at the Daytona 500 in two days' time. Um, I will be going. So, if you guys see me there... Uh, you guys know I'll probably be in some Arsenal shirt or something. So you'll see me. Just yell at me, say hi, stop me if you want. Um, if not, don't worry about it. I will just be walking around the facility. Let's get into it. Uh, we are 51 points behind Dale and her junior. Um, I want to see how many poles he has. He has eight poles on the season. The previous two, he had nine combined. So... I don't know what's going on here as to why this man always qualifies on pole. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting a little bit frustrating at the moment. Only two wins, though. Only two wins. That is because we are dominating the world. Well, that makes sense as to why he has so many poles. We had 15 in 2004. So, yes, 15 poles there. That probably makes sense. Only five because we, only, we, you know, we start at the back of the pack most of the time. But we have 19 wins on the season, which is genuinely insane. But we have an average finish of 8.1. So, yeah not ideal uh let's go to team management and start planning out what these final three races are going to look like so team management we are currently repairing a chassis uh which is chassis number 13 we have chassis number 14 uh and chassis 15 wait chassis 15 mm, oh yeah okay hold on hold on we have to make a little bit of a decision here i can't repair that one okay um we are going to save chat. I, th I thought chassis 15 would be better than 84 tire grip. I'm, I'm being completely honest. Um, we're going to save chassis 14 for Homestead. So, because we won't have enough time to repair that since 13 is already being repaired. Uh, I can sell it. If I sell 13, could I repair? I mean, 86, 81 is enough. It only went down. All right, now we'll, we'll keep. So, we'll, we'll use 15. For Phoenix, we'll use 13 when it's repaired for The Rock. We'll use 14 for Homestead. Because, again, Homestead is that real... We don't know how we're going to do it. Homestead, essentially. Uh, for the engines, we have uh, number 10, which is available. Number 12. And number 13. 13 will be the strongest engine, so we will use 13 at Homestead. We will use engine 10 and or engine 12 at Phoenix. We'll make that um, determination, Phoenix and North Carolina. Uh, and for the bodies, uh, this body and body number 13 will be the one that we use at Homestead. Um, and body number 11 will be ready for the rock. Body number 12 will be ready for for phoenix so that is what we are going to be doing nothing that we have to do um everything's just currently being worked on it is set for the final three for the final three races of the season we should have a strong car for all three races of the, the of the final of the season and let's get into it so we're again we're going to use chassis number 15 we're not we're going to save 14 for homestead Remember, that is a, in, in its full capacity it's 87 82 but 86 81 is just as good we're going to save that one for Homestead. We'll use chassis number 15. For the engine, we're going to go ahead and uh, use engine number... Let's go ahead and use engine number 12 because 13 will be ready to go. And I think we could use 10 for uh, for the rock. So I, I want a little bit more powerful engine for Phoenix. And for the body, we only have one option. Down for, say, 83 car rating of 83. Are we qualifying? <laughs> Guys... I, I have dedicated myself to, to staying at the back and making my way to the front. So it's really just about can Dale Jr. not be first for once in my life. That's really what it's about. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. What sets this track apart? This can be a very fast racetrack, but due to its low degree of banking, these cars can get a little loose coming out of the corners, and to make it even more difficult for the drivers, every turn is a little bit different than the one before it. Mark Martin seems to always have a good starting position at the speedways. Well, you can't win if you don't finish, and the best way to finish is to start up front and stay there all race long. 
Kevin Harvick accomplished an incredible feat in 2001. He won the Busch Series championship while competing full-time on the Winston Cup circuit. To race all those miles and be as good as he was is simply amazing. I'm sure the extra track time helped him, but you just get tired racing like that every weekend. The Aaron's Rent Chevrolet seems to always finish in the top 10. Oh yeah, to have an average finish in the top 10 for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. Once in my life, guys, we have been blessed. We have been blessed. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is on the outside row, not in second, not in fourth. He has a fantasy car in front of him. He's in sixth. Oh my, this could be it. This, I'm, 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 I'm gathering my thoughts at the moment, guys. I'm gathering my thoughts. I'm gathering. I'm trying to stay composed. There he is, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in sixth place. He has choked. He has choked. Final three races of the season, he's on pole every single race, and now he's in a terrible position for a track like Phoenix. Let's get the job done. 78 laps, and I can take my time. I know for a fact Junior's not going to get up to the front. Oh, well, I, okay, you guys are just going backwards. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, we could take our time, be very patient, use the inside lane. I, I don't know why Joe Nemechek wanted to come down on me there. Don't come down on me, please. Um, no, that came out wrong. But, hey, we're completely okay. We should be able to drive it in deep in a turn three over and over. Just got to get the brakes a little bit better there. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. We will be okay. And we will see Junior soon. He should be struggling right now. Already into the top 30 after two laps. Just being very patient. Car's a little bit tight, I will say, but that's fine. I mean, it's still very fast. We can still pass guys, but it is tight. If it doesn't get looser um, in over the course of the run, I think I will loosen it up on the first pit stop. But you can see turn three is where we the, where we pass the guys. We just I'm in I'm in so much control. I can make a little bit of contact with the guys on the outside uh, because we're just in so much control in turn three. So it's completely okay. Ooh, don't get underneath me, Ricky Craven. Thank you. Wait on the car to turn a little bit. I think I see Junior. He's outside the top five. I think he's battling with Gordon right now. So we'll just get up there in a little bit. We just passed three cars entering turn three. Oh, right front damage. Okay, well, I guess that was a very, very, very light tap that I don't think should have given me right front damage. But, hey, it's okay. It's Phoenix. It's a short track, okay? Is Phoenix technically a short track? In my opinion, it's a short track. In my opinion. Kenseth, get the hell out of the way, okay? You're my, you're my ally, then be my ally. Get the hell out of the way. This car is tight. This car is definitely tight. I don't know what's going on. It's just not turning as I thought it would at Phoenix. But look at that. <laughs> that's not it being tight it's tight in one and two but in three and four i can drive it in so un and you know what finally because at most tracks i can't drive it in as deep as the ai at most tracks but at this track i can at least in a turn three in a turn one i can't but in a turn three i can make up so much time we will pass johnny benson probably by the time we get to turn three just because of how deep we could drive it into the corner like that i mean it's just ridiculous get right behind jimmy johnson and just peek there. All right, so there we we see Dale Earnhardt Jr. He is there. He looks like he might be running in fifth, maybe sixth. I don't know. He he is uh, a few spots ahead. We're gonna not force it in a turn one. Turn one is our weakness. So again, don't worry about that. We will just be fine in a turn one. Get the heck out of the way. Thank you very much. All right, now let's get around Rusty Wallace. He's gonna take a very low line. We're gonna go even lower. Get around him, and then we'll get Jimmy Johnson the next time in a turn three. Just gotta clear Rusty. There we go. Beautiful scenes. Jimmy's going to block, so we're just going to send it in there before he can even think about blocking. And we make the pass. All right, eight, seven, six. Dale Jr. is currently running in fifth. I'm pretty sure that is Dale Jr. Yes, it is. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is running in fifth place. That's exactly where we need him. Exactly where we need him. I am very, very pleased to see Dale Jr. running in fifth. Never been happier before in my life. Let's go. We have to get to the lead before lap. 37, somewhere around there. So let's get to the lead before then. 29 car, top five. Number 29 is looking to Jesus. <laughs> I still can't believe how deep I could drive it into turn three. All right, Gordon, let me go, let me go. Please, let me go. No, it's fine. Okay, all right, I'll just get you next time. It's okay. 
It's okay. You go ahead. I really need to loosen this car up, though. I'm not making up as much time as I want to. So we're going to have to loosen this thing up. Gordon, you're my ally and you're blocking. Is that really necessary? Ay, ay, ay. Ally. Oh, he's, he's your ally. He'll let you go. He won't block you. Lies. Junior, I am here. Hello. <laughs> gonna just sneak my way around you i'm not i'm not gonna do anything dirty we're having a fair competitive championship battle okay fair and competitive so i'm not gonna do anything crazy i'm just gonna set him up in a turn three and he will meet his fate and then hopefully kurt bush dale jarrett and mark martin can hold him off i will let oh he's blocking oh he's blocking no junior no you're gonna junior i said i was gonna be clean but you're gonna block like that i am gonna hit you all right so hey you be be very careful with how you race me, friend. Oh, no, no, you stay back there. No, 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 you stay back there. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I have to go lead some laps, okay? You stay back there like the good boy you are. Thank you very much. All right, you deserve to finish second in the championship, not first, okay? We have 19 wins in the season, Junior. All right, 19 wins in the season. See you later, buddy. And that 50-point lead you have is not looking very healthy anymore, is it? <laughs> oh, baby. Come on. All right, Kurt Busch, please. No, wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so, I, I didn't mean to do that. Kurt, Kurt, get back. In, no, no, you get, get going. Stay in front of Junior, okay? That's what I need you to do. Stay in front of Junior, all right? You hear me? Thank you. All right, I'm going to be really clean with these two guys so that way they can stay in front of Dale. Uh, Mark Martin's going to block just a little bit. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to, okay. I need to lead laps, though. So you, I can't be too clean with you guys, okay? So I'm going to need you to just get in. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Got that spot. All right, now we're going to get Jared. Is Jared going to block too? It looks like he is. Okay, I got to really arc this. So let's go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Dive it down. Got him. Okay. Now, you guys stay in, stay in front of Junior. I think that's Tony Stewart in the lead. I'm guessing. Is it Tony Stewart? I haven't seen Tony Stewart. Of course it is. It is Tony Stewart. Uh, he's third in the points. He's actually not doing that bad. But, um... He's not really, I don't think he's going to be in the championship contention unless me and Junior have DNFs. Then then Tony Stewart can do it, but other than that, that's not going to happen. We're on lap 22. We need to get to him quickly. Uh, hopefully, you know, we only have about 15 more laps to work with here, so let's get to him. I want to get to him as soon as possible, so just give me a few laps to work with uh, in case I can't lead all of them. Come on, we're getting closer. Lap 26, we're getting closer. We've cut it down a lot. Lap traffic's going to help here in a second. But I just got to get to him. Every lap counts. Just got to get to him. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can see I'm sliding the car into the corners. Pushing it really hard. Yeah. Oh, that was a red car. Damn it. It was Coy Gibbs, not Dale Earnhardt Jr. I saw a red car with a blown engine. I almost I almost celebrated way too hard. All right. Let's get to Stewart. He should have, This will be the last lap he leads. So he has led 27 laps. So that is good. We have about 10 laps to work with. Uh, let's get him. Oh, he's just running up there. I mean, I should be able to get him with the pick right here. Beautiful. Okay. He didn't really put up any fight. Thank you, Tony Stewart. Get around Fittipaldi. Get around Petty and Greg Biffle and all those guys. I should be able to absolutely destroy the lap cars, and that should be able to help. Now, we are very low on fuel, 2.1. I'm going to stay out as long as possible uh, to lead laps. That's the main reason we have to lead laps. So try to get the extra bonus points really the most laps gordon has gotten around junior i just saw that i just saw that yeah there's gordon where's junior he's in sixth now so junior got around kurt bush but gordon has gotten around both of them okay good good job jeff i'm proud of you that's why you've always been my favorite driver fuel tank almost empty and nobody's come down pit road i'm gonna be one of the first guys to come down pit road so that's a little bit disheartening but that's okay i mean we'll have to do what we have to do 1.1 1. 1, 1 i'm gonna go one more lap I'm going to go one more lap to prevent Tony Stewart from leading. So let's go one more, then we'll pit. Oh, pit stops are starting. Okay. Tell me. Come on, Tony. Is Tony Stewart, did he go in? I think he did. I think Tony Stewart pitted that lap. That's perfect. Okay. So that way he doesn't lead anymore. So now we can come down pit road. Point four on fuel. We have pushed it as far as we can. Did Tony pit? Yes, he did. Okay. Uh, get out of my way. 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 Really? Is that really necessary? Get the hell out of my way. Get out of the way. Jesus. Okay, let's pit, let's pit, let's pit. Ooh. 70 miles per hour. Beautiful scenes. Uh, doop. And pop. All right. Let's go. Come on, pit crew. Come on. I'll give you guys a good little gap. Do not disappoint me. 
Eight seconds, eight seconds, eight seconds. Nope, 8.7. As long as they don't make a mistake, I'll be okay with it. It's, it's a slow pit stop, but as long as they don't make a mistake, it's fine. It's, it's 17 seconds. I don't know if I'll still be in the lead. I'm looking for Tony Stewart. There he is. I get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Where? Oh, there he is. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's not leading right now, so it's okay. As long as I get him before we get back in the lead. Thank you, Pit Crew, for being absolutely useless like you always are. I genuinely hate that. I, I so much prefer last year's Pit Crew. So much. This year's Pit Crew sucks absolute ass. No offense. Like, they are horrible. They don't deserve championship medals if we end up winning a championship. They just never come through for me. They never do. Uh, Dale Jr. is behind Mark Martin. I just saw him coming out of pit road. So I'm hoping that maybe Gordon or some other guys can get in front of him. Uh, but right now, Jr. is not our focus. It is what is. Someone else is leading at the moment. I don't know who. But they are pitting. They're pitting. I have to get in front of Stuart soon. Please lead that lap. Lead that lap. Lead that lap. Whoever you are. Yes, he did. He did. Okay, okay. It was no, he didn't. It was Hermie Sadler. He, he didn't lead it by two one hundredths of a second. Ah, yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of my way, Jack Sprague. Every single race, I swear to God, every single race, your useless net zero ass is always blocking. You absolute fraud. Get the hell out of my way. All right, let's go get Tony Stewart. God damn it. We got to lead laps. Get, go, go, go. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Yoop. Sent. Delivered. There we go. All right. We are back in the lead. Let's keep the lead. Stay out as long as we can. Lead laps. Just lead laps. Vamos. Coming to lap 50. We are chilling. Uh, very nicely. Just relaxed. Leading laps. 3.4 seconds to Tony Stewart. Wow. I didn't say anything for like 15 laps. Nothing happened. I almost get wrecked by Terry Labonte. Okay. All right, that was really unnecessary. I don't understand what that was about. We have left rear damage now, so that should be interesting. And see how that handles the uh, affects the handling of the car. Hey, whoa, get by the wall. What is with the AI? Are they, are they Dale Jr.'s friends? What is going on here? Why am I being attacked like this? All right, get the hell out of my way. Anyways, we are three and a half seconds ahead of Tony Stewart. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is still in fifth, but he's closing in on Mark Martin. I think he might have already maybe passed Mark Martin, too. Yep, now my car's looser. Yep, definitely 100%. All right, thank you, Terry Labonte. I really appreciate that. You absolute fraud, you old little Kellogg's piece of crap. That's why Cinnamon Toast Crunch is way better. Uh, and Honey Nut Cheerios. And Lucky Charms. And all of them. They're way better. But uh, whatever, we move. Um, I'm gonna take some time to fix the damage a little bit on the pit stop because we have a big enough gap So on this next pit stop we will fix the damage because I do not want to be loose entering turn three because that is my strength I do not I just I just don't want to be loose into there a five and a half second gap So we are definitely clear to uh, take our time entering pit road and do all that good stuff Fittipaldi is so get down the track. Okay, Jesus Or you want to force me by the wall? I don't understand you people. Uh, Yep, entering high is not my thing. This left rear damage is really starting to piss me off. Uh, but we can't pit yet because we have to lead laps. So just can't pit. Make sure we lead the most laps. Uh, stupid Terry Labonte. I just, why? It makes no sense. It just makes no sense. Why we, Why you would dive bomb me like that? Very low on fuel. That's good. I want to come down pit road as soon as possible. Uh, 2.6 left. Let's just do a few more laps. Make sure we don't get loose. You can see it's starting to just slide entering these corners. So make sure we get in there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So that way the pit crew can have a 20 second slow stop if they want. Oh my god. There's no way. I barely tapped the wall and it gave me right rear damage. Are you absolutely out of your mind? I, I Did I even touch it? Oh yeah, yeah. So damage on both the rear quarter panels now. Haha. <laughs> okay. Definitely need to fix the car now because this is going to not be fun to drive. Dale Jr. has entered fourth place, but, but... He is five seconds behind Dale Jarrett in third. So I'm not that worried about Junior catching them. Uh, how much fuel do we have? 1.0. Uh, I will go one more lap just to make sure we lead. There will be cars coming down pit road. Jimmy Johnson's on fresh tires, by the way. He did like the, the short, short pit, and he still has not been able to get around us. So that's just really how how good we are. All right, we're going to pit this time by books, books, Lewis, books, books, books. We are very close to leading the most laps in the race, and we're very close to getting even closer to Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the championship standings. Do not speed whatsoever. Just coast this thing down. 
Beautiful scene, 68 miles per hour. We will fix the damage, and hopefully the pit crew is not incompetent, but even if they are, we should have enough to win this. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Jamie McMurray, you better step on that goddamn pedal, I swear. Ay, ay, ay. Do stay in your lanes. Stay. There we go. Thank you. All right. Come on. Get the pit stop going. Seems like another slow stop. Uh, it's, it's decent. Uh, it's slow, but it's fine. I don't care. 17.2. Two crap stops by the pit crew. Thank you very much, pit crew. Terry Labonte, I don't like you. Uh, two very, very crap pit stops. I really just don't like them, guys. I, I'm being completely honest. My pit crew sucks. They suck. I really wish I could fire them so none of them get championship medals in case we win, but I am not going to do that. Hello, Dale Jr. I don't really know if you are staying out or what you're doing, but uh, you have fun, my friends. Okay? Don't mind me. I'm going to go ahead and win this race. Thank you. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Who's up front? Tony Stewart is still up front. Dale Jr. is in second. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. They have to come down pit road, so I'm not, not really that worried or fussed about it. Now, we're still not in the lead. Um, someone is still leading. Kevin Harvick is still leading the race. He has stayed out. I don't want to lead too many more laps, but I guess we'll just wait and see when he comes down pit road. Oh, he's out of fuel. Kevin Harvick's out of fuel. Look at the mini-map. Look at the mini-map. You see that? And there's a caution. Interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 oh my lord, oh my lord, no, Sterling Marlin ran out of fuel, wow, whoa, god, oh, ow, ooh, whoa, okay, I'm gonna stay out, what is the race situation, I don't know what the race situation is, I'm in the lead, Okay, I'm in the lead. Nice. Where's Dale Earnhardt Jr.? That's what I want to know. Where is he? He's in seventh. He lost. Some He's a lap down. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s a lap down. Let's go. He can't finish any better than sixth. Oh, my Lord. Sterling Marlin, you absolute beauty. Oh, I've always loved you. Oh, my Lord. All right, it has all worked out, guys. I mean, we just have to make sure don't lose focus here. Don't let Dale Jarrett pass us, win this race. We do have more laps led than Tony Stewart, so we'll lock that up very soon. And with Dale Jr. finishing either 6th or 7th, maybe even worse, we don't know. He's a lap down. We'll see what, you know, if he gets around Tony Stewart for 6th. With him not leading a lap this race, we're very close to taking the lead in the points. Very, very close. Oh, this race could not have gone any better, guys, really. It could not have gone any better. We're going to get maximum points. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to finish outside of the top five. He currently is ahead of Tony Stewart. I'm watching him in the mirror. So he's ahead of Tony Stewart, so that puts him in sixth place. But that still is not enough. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Let's get the job done, though. Let's just get the job done. No mistakes. Get the job done. Final lap. This has been a perfect race for us. This is exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Dale Earnhardt Jr. did not lead a lap. He did not finish in the top five. We led the most laps. We're going to win the race. Maximum 185 points. We should be, should be within 15 points. We really should be. We should, we should be within 15 points. We win at Phoenix, 20th win on the season. And now I think we have full control of our destiny in the championship. I really do. Let's go. I'm going straight to the points. Let's, I don't want to celebrate. I want to go the see the points. Didn't. Should I look at the points? Uh, no, I'm not going to. I don't want, I don't want to look. I'm just going to go straight to the standings. Oh, I'm begging. Oh, please, please, please. All right, so he finished sixth. We finished first. It should be within 20. It should be around 15, I think. Hop Seeker 400, North Carolina. Final two races is next up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up and save the game, please. I'm, 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 I'm itching. Okay. All right. Let's see. Standings. We are in second. It's 16 points. Okay. We are in full control of our destiny. If we win the next two races, if we win the next two races, and as long as Dale Jr. doesn't lead the most laps in both and finish second in both, we will win the championship. Simple as that. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me on Twitter and description already. We will finish this series next week. I'm so excited. Let's go win this thing. The comeback is on, guys. The comeback is on. Junior choked. He choked. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.